All right, what's going on? I figured I would uh, just go live here and talk real quick because and share the three ways that loan officers can get more real estate partners, okay? I have at least two or three conversations with loan officers a day and I've come up with basically that there's three different categories or three different ways that loan officers attempt to get the attention of realtors, all right? So see which one you are. If you're looking for a better way, I've got a link around here. You can check out our program. Number one way that loan officers attempt to attract realtors is with stuff, okay? This was especially popular a few years ago when you know you would bring donuts or bring pizza or bring lunch or like bring something to the office for realtors whenever, you know, if you wanted to try to get in front of new realtors and if you wanted to try to put yourself out there, right? You could bring a candy bowl with your business cards inside the candy bowl. You could bring donuts, you could bring any of those sort of things and you could try to get their attention with stuff. Maybe you could also invite them out to lunch or the coffee meeting, right? This would also be around how to get their attention with stuff, right? Which is what we don't necessarily want to do that because it doesn't start the relationship off on the right foot, right? Now they we're maybe creating an expectation that we're just always going to be providing stuff, right? And that's not necessarily what you want to do when you're trying to start a new relationship with a realtor. Way number two that loan officers try to get realtors' attention and work on building relationships is through money, right? Now, the money thing could be taking them out to lunch can also go up under this money deal, right? A lot of times you're gonna see this around co-branding or loan officers paying for marketing, all right? When I was a realtor in like 2005, I would get loan officers to pay for my magazine ads and for any advertising that I wanted to do, we could just go get loan officers to pay for that stuff, right? And a lot of times, maybe you have realtors coming to you the same way where they're like, hey, I'll work with you if you pay for this, right? Zillow is great at that at that pitch right now where if a realtor comes to them and they want to get a zip code and they don't have the money or they don't want to pay what Zillow wants to be paid Zillow teaches them how to go to a loan officer or in fact Zillow sometimes will even call the loan officer and say hey you know realtor X is trying to you know get the zip code do you want to partner with them and so maybe you've been approached that way where people have come to you looking for you, you to help pay for Zillow leads and that sucks too, right? And the third way that you can create realtor relationships and start new realtor relationships is by providing value, right? So there's a lot of ways that you can provide value, but basically there's three simple things, right? So number one, help the realtor market themselves better, help them to get more leads and more clients, and help them sell more houses, right? And if you're doing that and you're providing value, and you're initiating a relationship and you're continually coming to the relationship by bringing value either by providing leads or by helping the realtor generate leads or helping the realtor sell houses more often, faster, or get more leads or get more customers coming in the door, helping the realtor stay in touch with their database. There's a lot of things you can do, right? In fact, we have a 21 point marketing checklist that you can use to go over with a realtor and figure out exactly where the realtor is strong on marketing and where they're weak on marketing so that you can help them and you can bring them value right away, right? So it's like immediately you can provide value on a one-on-one -on -one level using the checklist that we provide. So if you're looking, you know, like, I don't know where you fall, right? But you're probably in one of those three things. Like, how are you building realtor relationships? Are you using it through stuff? And you're trying to get their attention through stuff? That was cool like 10, 20 years ago. Are you doing it through money? That works, but then you've got to spend your money. Or are you doing it through value? And if you want to do it through value, and maybe you're looking for a way that you can be more valuable to realtors, you should consider joining Mortgage Marketing Mastery. Inside of my program, we have it broken down into two major sections. The first is how you can generate your own leads. And we're going to teach you six different campaigns that you can use to generate exclusive mortgage and real estate leads that you can turn and turn into business for yourself and also share out with your realtors. And then we have three modules around how you can be more valuable to realtors. They're all designed exactly to make you more valuable to realtors. And we're gonna teach you the agent attraction system so that you can have at least 10 referral partners. So if that's something you're interested, there's probably a link right around here. So you can go to salesclubhouse.com mastery 
and uh, we can get on the phone and chat about that and see if you're a fit for the program. But look, just think about that, right? Those are basically the three ways that you can attract a realtor. You can either bring stuff to them, you can use your money and spend your money, or you can provide value. And which one are you going to do? At the end of the day, I think it's way easier and more profitable for you to become valuable to the realtor and not have to rely on bringing stuff to their office, not have to rely on taking them out to lunch and spending your money on Zillow leads and co-branding stuff for them because you can be valuable and that's why they'll want to work with you because you bring value to the table. Hope that helps you out. Hope you're having an awesome day and uh, see you next time. Later.